Hi friends, today I'll talk about the nakshatra in your seventh house. Okay, which nakshatra do you have in the seventh house of your horoscope? The seventh house is the house of partnership, relationship, marriage. It's a house of your spouse or partner. It also is connected to independent business, even career, because according to the Bhavad Bhavam concept. Seventh house is tenth from the tenth house, and seventh house is also the house of uh, foreign travels. Okay, all kinds of partnerships, whether personal, you know, life partner, or whether it's business partnership, everything is seen from the seventh house. Seventh house is the house of the world outside of you, how you interact with the world, that is also seen from the seventh house. Okay, so it's very significant, and now the nakshatra, which is in the seventh house. Okay, say if you have the sign of Pisces in the seventh house, and say if the nakshatra which is ruling the seventh house is Revati nakshatra, then Revati nakshatra is ruled by Mercury. Where is Mercury falling in your horoscope? Today's video is all about that. The seventh house nakshatra lord. in a certain house of the horoscope or the 7th house nakshatra lord in all 12 houses of your horoscope here i'm talking about the lagna chart the d1 chart now i will show you a sample chart so that it becomes clear what i'm trying to say so this video is really going to be interesting because it is today Uh, this video is not just about signs or houses it is about nakshatra nakshatra the lunar mansion nakshatra is very significant okay the nakshatra lord it is also referred to as the star lord okay so the nakshatra lord of your 7th house the star lord of the 7th house how will you come to know which nakshatra you have in the 7th house you can do that with the help of any software all right then uh, if you want it on your phone mobile phone i think there is an app a kp astrology app so there are various apps so you will come to know about the nakshatra which is in the Seventh house, the nakshatra which rules your seventh house. Okay, or you can do it with the help of softwares also. So it's very important to know. Suppose you have the sign of say Aquarius there, then the nakshatra which is ruling the seventh house it could be Dhanishta nakshatra. Okay, or any other nakshatra which falls in Aquarius. Okay, so like that. now i'll uh, show with the help of a sample chart before that why nakshatra is so significant nakshatra is connected to our you know past life in a very deep way nakshatra that is why when you interpret a chart um, you know at the nakshatra level you go deep to the level of nakshatra is no then your interpretation analysis is very accurate because you are now going to the depth of things nakshatras are deeply connected to your past life okay to your past life karma and which karmas you will have to execute in this life nakshatras talk very beautifully and very subtly and very wonderfully they will you know kind of show you the karmic patterns okay that you have been going through and what you have to face also the karma that you need to face in this life also so today we'll talk about the 7th house nakshatra lord in all 12 houses of the horoscope let's have a look at the sample chart so friends this is a sample chart you can see so in this chart this is the 7th house okay this is a lagna chart the chart of a female native who is a leo ascendant okay and in the 7th house you have the sign of aquarius in the 7th house the nakshatra which is there 
in the chart of this female native is the dhanishta nakshatra dhanishta nakshatra is ruling the 7th house of this female native we know that dhanishta nakshatra is ruled by the planet mars so you have to find out where the 7th house nakshatra lord is placed in the 7th house you have the sign of aquarius and the the planet moon is there moon and neptune they are there in the 7th house the sign of aquarius is there there is another thing which rules the 7th house also it is called the nakshatra find out which nakshatra or star is ruling the 7th house in the case of this female native who has aquarius in the 7th house dhanishta nakshatra rules the 7th house dhanishta nakshatra is ruled by mars so you have to find out where mars is placed in the chart so you can see that mars is placed in the first house of the chart yes you can see in the first house mars is placed so the 7th house nakshatra lord for this native which is dhanishta nakshatra is ruled by mars so the 7th house nakshatra lord is mars actually so mars is placed in the first house in the case of this female native so in the case of this female native the 7th house nakshatra dhanishta nakshatra lord which is mars is placed in the first house okay so that's what we are going to discuss you have to find out in which house your 7th house nakshatra lord is placed for this female native it is placed in the first house in your chart it may be placed in any of the other houses okay so friends do not forget to subscribe to the channel okay friends so now let's uh, get started if the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the first house of your horoscope then what results you are going to get all right definitely your partner will play a very important role in your life okay you will definitely have a very deep rooted karmic connection with your partner in this life as your life may revolve around your partner your partnership your relationship with your partner or spouse okay they will be a very significant pillar of your life now again the nakshatra lord of the 7th house if it is well placed in the first house then you will get these results well placed means it shouldn't be uh, under malefic influence under too much of malefic influence and also the nakshatra lord is placed in the first house its dispositor also should be more or less well placed in the horoscope then you will get the results which i am discussing now if the nakshatra lord of the 7th house gets afflicted in the first house then the results would be different you would not get such positive results okay so if it is more or less well placed then you will get wonderful results okay your partner also can be somebody who's who will have leadership qualities they may love to take initiative in things they may be passionate about things they will also love to be disciplined and structured okay they will also have a lot of desire to establish their identity in this world uh, they will also uh, definitely have that desire to bring about a positive change in their life by dint of their knowledge efforts even by dint of their hard work they can also be very intuitive so all these qualities they can have if the 7th lord nakshatra if the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the first house of your horoscope what else your partner now first house we know it is part of the dharma trine so definitely they will be dutiful also they will believe in duty they will believe in knowledge gaining knowledge also if the 7th 7th uh, house nakshatra lord is more or less well placed then they will believe in righteousness 
they will be dutiful they will be faithful towards you in the relationship also so all these things we can say and uh, this relationship will work when both of you are passionate for each other it's very important to be passionate dutiful yes loyal definitely but passionate otherwise no uh, that spark that spark has to remain alive that bond which binds you together know that you have to maintain that bond maybe undertake travel with your partner keep that spark of love and intimacy alive that's very important in the relationship okay so it is all about uh, definitely being dutiful so it's very important to be dutiful to the partner and the partner also will in turn be faithful to you and it is very important to maintain that passionate connection that's very important if the seventh lord naksh seventh house nakshatra lord is in the first house so yeah so all these things we can say so that desire the desire is very important here the desire to maintain the relationship with the partner to never give up and keep on trying so that is very important then the relationship will work but if you i mean also having the desire to do new things with the partner that is important that will keep the relationship alive traveling to new places doing new things you know maybe starting some new project with the partner so exploring the world together so doing something new all the time that will keep your relationship alive when the seventh house nakshatra lord is in the first house of your horoscope yes all these things we can say friends so yeah and uh, so first house we know in the chart of the cosmic man it's under the influence of sun and mars so that is why discipline passionate loyalty important in the relationship and also uh, all these things we can say yeah aries energy is also there so a lot of fire energy passion honesty also honesty is very important in the relationship and uh giving respect to each other is very important mutual respect is very important otherwise there could be even ego clashes okay so it's always important to respect each other so mutual respect is very important in the relationship then the relationship can work and uh, yeah and uh, it can be successful your your person can be somebody who is very self dependent they love their independence they may also love their own space so at times it is important to give them space to give them due respect it's very important so that the relationship can be a beautiful successful relationship now let's move on to what will happen when the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the second house so definitely your wealth is now connected to your partnership so maybe after your marriage you can become rich it's possible you can become wealthy or uh, definitely uh, your partner will bring good fortune to you also because second house is the house of wealth it is associated with jupiter so it is also connected to fortune to possessions it's also connected to family so your marriage uh, will be also a uh, very intimately connected uh, i mean your your marriage or your partnership will have a great um, connection with your own family as well so it will uh, definitely your family members also can be connected to your partner uh, very intimately and very you know there could be a very healthy a uh, cordial relationship also depending on the 
planet so which planet is the nakshatra lord in this in this second house of your horoscope and how it is placed more or less well placed you will get good results if it is not well placed results will be dif- different then a uh, good relationship with family your partner may not maintain also but if it is in good dignity then your partner will also maintain good relationship with your family your partner will be somebody who is very hard working because second house is part of the earth trine the trine of material pursuits hard work so your partner will be materialistic they will be goal oriented in life they will believe in resources and accumulating wealth so all these things because of your partnership also you can accumulate wealth in life maybe along with your partner you decide to do something maybe together some joint venture or after you get married you no know, uh, your partner also will enable you to gain wealth in life that is also possible nevertheless your partner will believe in long term gains they'll be practical they'll be grounded you know the taurus energy is connected to the second house of the kalpurush so we cannot forget that it is earth sign and it is fixed earth so in matters of relationship also you believe in commitment and serious commitment it's possible even your partner also is looking for a serious committed relationship with you with you so all that relationship based on serious life term lifelong commitment so all these things we can say when the seventh lord is so seventh house nakshatra lord is in the second house okay uh, then also seventh house nakshatra lord can be connected to your independent business so for your independent business you may make use of your speech it's possible okay or whatever knowledge you possess that will help you in your independent business or uh, your partner can also be somebody who may have a very pleasant way of talking that's possible now again if uh, seventh house nakshatra lord is well placed in the second house then you will get such results now definitely in this relationship uh, you know seventh house nakshatra lord also shows your relationship not just your partner so your relationship can also be very sensual and uh, you are seeking a sort of sensual connection also uh, a relationship which can give you even sensual pleasures and you are seeking a deep rooted connection with your partner a stable a committed relationship that's what you are looking for and even your partner is looking for the same so all these things we can say and uh, relationship is something which should give you happiness pleasure that's what you believe and uh, yeah so all these things we can say and uh, this relationship can also enable you to become prosperous in life to gain wealth okay uh, to gain uh, financial stability after entering into this relationship or marriage you may gain financial stability in life okay so all these things we can say when the 7th house nakshatra lord is in your second house okay one moment now just just a moment friends i'll be back yeah so uh, second house second house is a part of the uh, earth trine okay so it is a trine of material pursuits it is also uh, you know part of the trine of uh, efforts and 
being calculated calculating by nature so you know relationship your relationship also will be based on definitely a lot of thinking analysis calculations so you know you will because you are looking for a lifelong relationship so you will definitely be very analytical also in choosing your partner and you will also want to attract somebody who is you know or who is hard working who is goal oriented who will be able to give you some serious commitment so that sort of relationship we can think of when the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the second house of your horoscope if it is well placed then definitely you can be wealthier uh, you can accumulate riches after being in a relationship with your partner or after your marriage so now let's move on to what will happen when the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the third house third house in the chart of the cosmic man is ruled by mercury we have the sign of gemini there and gemini is air sign and mutable air duality and also the third house is the house of communication of wit humor intelligence okay even education in a way because it's mercury yes so now third house is the house of learning abilities your ability to learn things grasp things it is the house of your skills all right it is a house uh, of being you know which shows that you have the power to be to take initiative so all these qualities can be there in your partner the abil- the ability to take initiative to be enterprising okay to have business acumen uh you know having social networking skills and all that all kinds of skills they can be skillful your partner can be skillful they can have any sort of creative or artistic ability it's possible when the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the third house they can be very intelligent witty they can have great sense of humor they can at times be talkative but they'll be very intelligent you may have shared interests or hobbies you may love to do things together you may love to travel together you may go on short distance travels even all kinds of travels you may love to do fun things together so all these things will keep your relationship you know alive and it will uh, you know happening and it will make it successful when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the third house your partner can be a little dual by nature they can have a sort of duality in their nature okay at times they will be very childlike and very fun loving and very you know uh, they will want to explore the world great sense of humor at times they can again become very serious about their goals aspirations ambition in life so a sort of duality in their nature can be there now what else we can say the 7th house uh, nakshatra lord is in your 3rd house so definitely there can be a friendly relationship also with your partner it is very important to have a relationship based on friendship okay yes so all these things we can say it is also important to keep making efforts in the relationship because third house is the house of efforts also so it's very important to keep making efforts to make efforts to connect with your partner then your relationship will work and your partner also can be somebody who's very ambitious so you need to respect their ambition also 
they can have a lot of desires to achieve things in life material desires also so you need to respect their wishes and desires okay you have a lot of expectations from the relationship also you have great desire to travel with your partner you have great desire to do all kinds of you know fun things with your partner you also have so many expectations but it is so important to even respect your partner's ambition their goals in life then this relationship will definitely work okay so it's very important to be friends to each other because after all this is the house ruled by mercury and mars is also there the mars is also the significator of the third house so that passion is very important a passionate connection you know the ability to understand each other intuitively as friends so that is very important in the relationship <coughs> all right so now let's move on to the next placement what will happen if the 7th house nakshatra lord is in your 4th house 4th house in the chart of the cosmic man ruled by moon and you have the symbol in the 4th house of, of you have the sign of cancer which is symbolized by the crab so and this is uh, cancer is a water sign movable water so relationship uh, may go through ups and downs just like the waxing and waning phases of the moon at times there'll be great emotional connect with the partner at time there'll be problems in the relationship and you may feel my partner is not able to understand me my partner is not responding to me emotionally you may feel that way but nevertheless if moon is well placed in your chart or if the 7th house nakshatra lord is well placed in the 4th house then you will be caring towards your partner and your partner also will be loving and nurturing towards you so after your marriage or after being in a relationship you will discover that your partner is very caring has motherly affection for you okay they will treat you with love and care they can even pamper you okay that's possible so you can receive a lot of care and nourishment and love and affection again if seventh house i mean if the seventh house nakshatra lord is more or less in good dignity well placed aspected by benefics like jupiter then you will get good results so all these things uh, what else it's very important it's very good to travel with your partner whenever you undertake travel with your partner your relationship with your partner can improve okay your partner can be somebody who's very intuitive they can have great intuitive power this is part of the moksha trine the fourth house the trine of intuition also even sacrifice so when both of you are ready to sacrifice uh, your own happiness for your partner then this relationship will work because when the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the 4th house then the relationship may demand sacrifice from time to time sacrificing your small pleasures or joy maybe sacrificing your comfort for the sake of your partner for their happiness for their well-being because this is part of the moksha trine so this house fourth house is the first house in your horoscope which teaches you to sacrifice something for others for your family because this is part of the moksha trine so yeah your partner will be a very important member of your home i mean you cannot think of a home without your partner after your marriage after being in relationship with your partner or after marriage you can have your assets 
you can uh, okay buy a house build a house you can gain assets real estate property that's possible okay so what are you looking for in the relationship you're looking for peace tranquility solace so that's what you're looking for actually that is why the seventh house nakshatra lord is in the fourth house and you feel that it is my partner who can actually give me peace of mind so that is why it is very important for the partner also to be caring and loving it is very important for you also to be affectionate and to be ready to sacrifice even you know your pleasures and comfort for the sake of your partner so when both of you you know are going to you know think of the other person first then this relationship will work like anything but because this is the house of the moon after all so at times there will be wonderful connection there will be deep rooted emotional connection that is what you are looking for in the relationship you want great emotional bond emotional connection but uh, because uh, now depends how moon is placed and how the seventh lord seventh house nakshatra lord is placed so if it is not so well placed then lots of fluctuations can happen sometimes there'll be emotional connection sometimes you will feel that my partner is emotionally estranged from me they're not responding to my emotions you may feel that way but then what i would suggest have some patience because they will bounce back they will come back to you so have some patience wait for them because after all this is the house of the moon so you know just give some time to your relationship if your your partner needs space give them space for the time being they will in due course of time they will respond to your emotions so sometimes you know what we need in a relationship is just space giving each other some space at times because at times your partner may want to remain in isolation they may want their they they may value their space a lot your relationship also no you will keep your relationship very private because this is the house of the crab for the crab their privacy is very important so you will want to keep your relationship very personal very private all right very close to your heart now even if th there is some misunderstanding even if there is a uh, okay phase wherein you feel that uh, there is some lack of emotional connect you wait for the right time you wait for some time things will fall in place eventually all you need is patience when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 4th house you need to have patience patience the power of intuition the ability to understand your partner intuitively that is important the ability to love your partner unconditionally that is important then this relationship will work when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 4th house now let's move on to 7th house nakshatra lord in the 5th house this is the house of leo in the chart of the cosmic man it is fire energy fixed fire and this is the house of love and romance 5th house it is part of the dharma trine so this relationship has to be based on serious commitment fixed fire leo serious commitment definitely there has to be a passionate connection romantic connection then this relationship will work because fifth house is the house of love and romance no passionate romantic connection and spiritual connection as well loving each other unconditionally again that is important when the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the 5th house having a deep rooted spiritual bond with your partner you know sharing that sort of spiritual bond when you are ready to 
even sacrifice your happiness for the sake of your partner because your partner gives you joy gives you happiness your partner is the source of all joy all happiness for you so relationship needs to be really based on love and romance and great spiritual connection then this relationship will work if the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the 5th house it is a good idea to travel to different places with your partner that will keep the spark of love and romance and passion alive so traveling to different places okay exploring the world together doing fun things together at times being playful with each other being friends with each other all that is important when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 5th house being generous with each other okay maybe even forgiving each other and get always being committed to each other being dutiful to each other this is part of the dharma trine so being loyal faithful dutiful towards each other having serious commitment towards each other in the relationship that is important when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 5th house keeping that fire of romantic passion alive that is also important okay so maybe taking initiative to do new things to to travel to different places with your partner that is important all right so all these things we can say being friendly because fifth house is also third from the third house it is according to the bhavad bhavam concept it is third from the third house so it is also the house of friendship so having a friendly cordial relationship is very important okay deep rooted spiritual love spiritual connection is very important when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 5th house and traveling it can definitely help the relationship traveling to different places yes so all these things now let's move on to what will happen when the 7th house nakshatra lord will be in your 6th house 6th house is again the house of efforts this is in the chart of the cosmic man here you have the sign of virgo which is mutable earth okay so at times you may feel that there is a sort of duality in your partner they very hard working very hard working chasing their goals their targets maybe all the time if the 7th house nakshatra lord is well placed in the 6th house is so serious about things at times they will you know uh, want to be in isolation they will be totally detached that also may happen because there is a sort of duality in your partner now at times they'll be detached from everything they will want to you know stay alone in isolation in solitude and at times they will be very practical very grounded very hard working most of the time they'll be very goal oriented actually but sometimes they will want to escape from things and problems this may happen also so because maybe they're so tired of chasing certain targets it could be professional targets it could be relationship goals they're tired of chasing goals and targets so once in a while they may want to recede into their own private space and they may want to you know take recourse to loneliness but most of the time they are working hard but yes sixth house is also the house of conflicts so there could be conflicts in the relationship that's possible because here uh, this is after all the sign of virgo 
Now, in the relationship, there could be conflicts, differences of opinion, arguments, possible. So what you need to do in this relationship, you need to make efforts. Virgo is the symbol of efforts. Why Virgo? Because in the chart of the cosmic man, Virgo is the sign which is originally there in the sixth house. So never give up. Go on making efforts in the relationship. That is the key to success in your relationship. That is how you can maintain a successful relationship with your partner if you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 6th house. So always making efforts is important. Your partner also should make efforts. You should also make efforts. Never give up. There can be conflicts, there can be arguments, but it's okay. Analytically find out what is going wrong in the relationship. I mean how you need to improve the relationship, how you need to fix the problems so that your relationship can become better, okay? So that it can, you know, become more beautiful, meaningful. You will always strive towards perfection in the relationship. You, you want a perfect relationship with your partner. Yes, you really, and you are making efforts. So, you want that everything should be, you know, in place. Both of you should have relationship goals. You should be chasing those goals. But at times there can be conflicts, there can be tension, yes. But never lose sight of your goals, your relationship goals, your life goals. And sixth house is the house of routine. Okay? Maintaining routine even in your relationship life, even in sex life, that could be a very good remedy for the 7,000 Akshatra Lord in the 6th house. Maintaining routine in everything, going out on a date with your partner, on certain occasions, on weekends maybe going out on a date with your partner or spouse. I mean, going out or going to some place and the two of you spending some time together so doing that on a routine basis your partner is very much a part of your everyday reality so you have to make efforts you really have to make efforts never take them for granted don't take them for granted if you take them for granted or if they take you for granted the relationship uh, tends to become bitter. So don't let any bitterness set in. There can be conflicts. There can be problems. There are solutions also to problems. So sit down with your partner or sometimes sit down alone. Find out what went wrong. How you can improve the relationship. And never give up. Then your relationship can work. If your partner is connected to your workplace, then it's very good. Then it's good for the relationship. All these things we can say. And sixth house is the house of your Prarabdha Karma. So you are destined to meet such a partner. So welcome them. Because they are your destiny actually. Especially because sixth house is the house of Prarabdha Karma. So, a deep-rooted karmic connection you have with your partner. Okay? So, always make effort. Sixth house is part of the Artha trine. The trine of being calculating, grounded, practical, goal-oriented in your approach to life, to relationship also. So, your relationship will, will work when you have long-term goals. Both of you have set long-term goals. Then your relationship will work. Okay? So, even if there are problems, there are conflicts, sit down, discuss, find a resolution, find, a, find solutions or somehow it's important to also compromise, arrive at some compromise and then move ahead and go on making efforts in the relationship. Now, let's move on to what will happen when the 7th house Nakshatra Lord is in the 7th house itself. Wow. It is in the house of relationship itself. That means what? That means for you relationship is so important. 
relationship is something which is very important and you are really looking for a lifelong partnership with your partner so a committed relationship definitely you're looking for and seventh house is the house of libra air sign so you may get attracted to somebody who has intellectual abilities uh, someone who has someone who is intelligent definitely because libra is air sign and it is movable air okay movable so somebody who is again flexible also in their approach to things yes uh, somebody who uh, who knows how to balance things well you will get attracted to such a person and what are you looking for you are looking for a harmonious balanced relationship with your partner you want healthy give and take in the relationship if you are making efforts in the relationship you want your partner also to make efforts if you are taking a step forward you want them also to come one step forward because you believe that relationship is always both sided it cannot be one sided and you are looking for healthy exchanges healthy give and take okay so uh, you may be involved in independent business with your partner also it's possible you may undertake foreign travels with your partner you may be uh, both of you may get into a business and you may be in business partnership with each other that's also possible so your partner is your world now because seventh house is the house of the world so your partner is your world you want to deal with your partner you want to discuss everything with your partner whom do you want in front of you or just before you it's always your partner you want to discuss everything with your partner with your partner completes you that's what you will feel when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 7th house itself for your relationship is so important even marriage could be important if you believe in committed relationship okay so yeah and uh, undertaking foreign travels with your partner undertaking foreign travels because of your independent business that is also possible when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 7th house itself your independent business could be connected to trading you could be a liaison person you could uh, uh, you could be a liaison is a person is someone who brings different organizations together or different celebrities they bring them together and they they arrange meets and all you could be in the field of law your independent business it could be connected to the field of law or it could be even connected to counseling all that is also possible but nevertheless you want healthy exchanges intellectual exchanges with your partner also you want communication with your partner you will give a lot of importance to to that you know friendly communication also because this is part of the kama trikona libra no third house sorry seventh house seventh house is part of the kama trikona the trine of desires so a lot of material desires also pertaining to your relationship with your partner maybe after getting into partnership after being in a relationship or after marriage you want to do so many things with your partner okay you have relationship goals you have career goals you want to fulfill all of them with your partner that is also possible when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 7th house itself now the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 8th house 8th house uh, in the chart of the cosmic man you have the sign of scorpio water energy fixed water scorpio is ruled by mars okay find out how mars is placed in the chart and 7th house nakshatra lord how it is placed in the 8th house more or less well placed there'll be great sexual intimacy with your partner your relationship will be based on intense passion deep rooted emotional connection with your partner will be there okay great sexual connection sexual intimacy 
will be there physical compatibility or sexual compatibility is very important in the relationship when the 7000 nakshatra lord is in the is in the 8th house eventually over time your relationship can t- become can turn spiritual even it can be spiritual from the very start also okay because 8th house is also the house of spiritual connections so not just sexual connection but also spiritual so suppose you are in a committed relationship suppose you got married then definitely it is a spiritual bond with your partner but it is always uh, maybe initially in life people are passionate they have a lot of carnal physical desires so it's good to have great intimacy healthy intimacy which can transform you as a as an individual also it it could be a transformative experience not just for you but also for your partner both of you will transform as individuals because of that beautiful intimate connection that you have so all that is important in the relationship so that you can undergo that transformation and it can bring about a transformation in your life you know you can give birth to a to new life and all that transformation can happen in your life anything is possible uh when you have healthy sexual intimacy the relationship can definitely be successful also it is very important to uh you know intuitively understand your partner to have deep rooted emotional connection because here you are also looking for a committed relationship with your partner because this is scorpio sign fixed water committed relationship intense passionate relationship with your partner that's what you're looking for okay so all these things and your relationship will eventually transform you as a person because 8000 is also house of transformation this is part of the moksha trine so it is also important to uh, not just intuitively understand your partner but also be prepared to sacrifice your happiness also for your partner your happiness your comfort luxury your pleasure sacrifice that think of your partner first when you do something for them selflessly they will also do something for you selflessly in due course of time so just you know love them unconditionally that's very important love them unconditionally intuitively connect with them always want to you should want to you know give them joy give them pleasure give them happiness when you are on the giving end you know eventually you will find yourself on the receiving end also and the relationship will work wonderfully it will become successful in due course of time in due course of time there will be great spiritual bond also but if you are not able to understand each other well because again if the 7th house nakshatra lord is not so well placed in the 8th house then if there are conflicts if there is lack of uh, intimacy in the relationship then there can be conflicts problems and then what will happen some distance may set in going apart from each other or growing apart because okay lack of understanding not willing to sacrifice your pleasure or happiness for your partner and entering into conflicts with your partner so that will make that can make the relationship bitter so depends how the nakshatra lord 7000 nakshatra lord is placed in the 8th house so if all that happens misunderstanding conflicts then again some distance can set in and it can even end the relationship so in this lifetime both of you came together because you were meant to have great intimacy that's what you have to realize all right both of you should also be engaged in charity eventually okay so that is a good way remedy for the relationship also you know helping others out your partner also can have great intuition power they can have great healing abilities also they may be connected to the occult also or spiritual practices they may be connected to healing practices 
or your independent business can be connected to healing practices spiritual practices occult practices yoga meditation your independent business will be connected to that as well so when you try to heal others help others you know you will experience joy and peace of mind when you have the 7000 akshatra lord in the 8th house do that if you are into healing or cult do that to others and also try to heal your partner if you are in a relationship with somebody try to heal them if your partner is suffering if they are in pain heal them that will heal you also as an individual and that will make your relationship very beautiful and very meaningful now what will happen if the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the, in the 9th house 9th house ruled by jupiter in the chart of a cosmic man where you have the sign of sagittarius this is mutable fire your partner may have a certain duality of character at times they'll be very serious about their goals most of the times they'll be very optimistic very goal oriented very seriously chasing goals targets whether life goals career goals relationship goals very serious very religiously committed to work to relationship also at times they can uh, they may want to explore things also so the sort of duality they may have certain interest certain hobbies they may want to explore various things they may want to you know explore the world they may be, be, be very inquisitive they may have child like inquisitiveness curiosity to explore the world so sort of duality okay maybe they're in your partner so most of the times they are serious again how the 7th house nakshatra lord is placed in the 9th house if it is in good dignity you will get such results they'll be very serious very focused on their goals very seriously committed to you in the relationship also okay so but at times they will again want to explore the world they will have child like curiosity inquisitiveness also it's possible now uh, sagittarius is originally is fire energy fire energy mutable fire so fire so fire energy is connected it's part of the dharma trine now the ninth house so it is very important to be loyal to each other faith, faithful to each other to be dutiful to each other in the relationship then the relationship will work okay so relationship should be based on a sense of duty loyalty commitment and also it's important because fire energy after all it is important to keep that passion also alive it's important the desire that passion to connect with each other to travel to different places so that you know desire to explore the world with your partner that will keep your relationship alive and beautiful and successful so you should have a lot of desire now to explore the world with your partner maybe you, while you were on foreign travel you met your partner so your partner could belong to a foreign place also it's possible so traveling to different places with your partner undertaking foreign travels with your partner exploring the world together with your partner will make the relationship successful okay that passion that desire to do things with your partner you know that is important and to be seriously committed to the partner that is again very important in the relationship serious commitment that will keep the relationship alive mutual respect is so important at times your partner uh, they may want their uh, you know at times they may want to you know everybody every individual they have their sense of individuality identity so it is always important to respect each other's space also so they also may want definitely they will want their space because they believe in their individuality a lot okay so it is also important to give them due respect to give them their space when they want it 
ओके एंड गिविंग ईच अदर रिस्पेक्ट इन द रिलेशनशिप म्यूचुअल रिस्पेक्ट रिलेशनशिप शुड बी बेस्ड ऑन म्यूचुअल रिस्पेक्ट वेन द सेवेंथ हाउस नक्षत्र लॉर्ड इज इन द नाइन्थ हाउस यू गिव रिस्पेक्ट यू रिसीव रिस्पेक्ट सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिस्पेक्टिंग देयर सेंस ऑफ इंडिविजुअलिटी इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट देन द रिलेशनशिप विल वर्क इवन यू ऑल्सो नीड टू बी कमिटेड एंड ड्यूटिफुल टूवर्ड्स योर पार्टनर इन द रिलेशनशिप सो या your independent business because seventh house nakshatra lord seventh house is also your independent business it could be connected to counseling teaching sharing your knowledge possible now let's move on to what will happen when the seventh house nakshatra lord is in the 10th house 10th house is part of the earth trine it is the trine of hard work and then reaching your target your goal your material goals that you will set for yourself being very methodical structured calculating in your approach to life to relationship when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 10th house if your partner is connected to your profession then it's a very good thing it's good for the relationship okay or else uh, find out how the 7th house nakshatra lord is placed in the 10th house your partner will believe in their social status their uh, reputation in society they may believe in that they may also at times be controlling authoritative by nature they may want to control you also in the relationship it's possible when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 10th house you may feel that at times they are dominating but nevertheless because you have the Seventh house nakshatra lord in the tenth house. Always you have to go on making efforts in the relationship, because this is the earth trine, the trine of efforts also. You should never give up. Go on making efforts in the relationship. Then your relationship will work. Okay, go on making efforts. Set long term goals in the relationship. You should have long term goals. Okay. then the relationship will work be seriously committed to each other you should be responsible towards each other if 7th house nakshatra lord is in good dignity in the 7th in the 10th house then your partner will be seriously committed to you they'll be very responsible in the relationship at times they may be a little controlling or dominating but they will be very responsible they will believe in responsibility and that can make the relationship work okay so this is a capricorn in the chart of the cosmic man earth sign and it is movable earth okay so that is why relationship requires serious commitment serious commitment and uh, yeah so all these things and uh, so this is after all this is this house Ten thousand is ruled by Saturn. So, Saturn demands seriousness, serious commitment in the relation. Saturn wants you to make efforts in the relationship. At times, you may feel that okay, it is a tedious job maintaining the relationship with my partner. It's getting so tedious. But you have to. It may be tiresome, but you have to make efforts to maintain this relationship. then finally in the long run you will f- realize that this relationship has survived the test of time and it has become successful and if you have 7000 nakshatra lord in the 10th house and okay if you feel that okay i am making so much of efforts i am making a lot of efforts to connect with my partner partner is not responding i am tired if you feel that and if you give up then again distance can set in you may be distanced from your partner you cannot give up you have to go on making efforts in the relationship when you have 7000 nakshatra lord in the 10th house it is all about efforts 10000 is the house of your karma so deep rooted karmic connection with your partner you have you may be tired of making efforts but you don't give up 
unless it is an abusive relationship wherein okay there is domestic abuse wherein the partner gets violent and all then you should not tolerate injustice otherwise as long as it is possible it's as long as it is just keep making efforts in the relationship and wait for things to turn in your favor so just your relationship just give time to your relationship you must have patience if you have patience perseverance if you are ready to uh, you know make efforts in the relationship then eventually this relationship will be successful and it should be based on mutual responsibility so just as your partner may be a provider in the relationship or they may be they may take responsibility you also should be very responsible towards your partner then this relationship will work if partner connected to your work or workplace then it's very good for the relationship now let's move on to what will happen when the 7th house nakshatra lord will be in the 11th house 11th house is actually the house which is part of the kama trikona the trine of desires again so you have a lot of expectations lot of desires pertaining to your relationship your partner also can be somebody who is very ambitious in life okay so sky is the limit for them and even for you as well so both of you can be very ambitious uh, you will be you will have high expectations from your relationship even maybe from your independent business your partner will be by nature somebody who is very ambitious who will have a lot of desires and the, your partner could be someone who is a little unconventional also because this is the sign of aquarius in the 11th house of the cosmic man aquarius is air energy and it is fixed air so your partner once they have thought of something that i have to achieve this no one can stop them from doing that because it is fixed air now if 7000 uh, nakshatra lord is in good dignity in the 11th house then they can be great uh, they can be uh, a great intellectual they can be uh, they can have intellectual power intellectual depth they can have great research abilities okay they will be very intuitive also they will have the ability to go to the depth of things analyze things highly analytical highly intelligent highly uh, knowledgeable all these qualities your partner can have but unconventional they will always believe in their own observation skills in their own research abilities in their own ability to investigate reality and analyze things they will believe in their logical reasoning when you have the 7000 nakshatra lord in nakshatra lord in the 11th house they will believe in their own sense of logic over everything else they will not believe in any other institution they will believe in their own sense of logical reasoning they have a scientific bent of mind it's possible very analytical by nature unconventional in their approach to things cerebral in their approach to things your relationship also okay you connect with each other because you have great intellectual exchanges maybe you connect with each other intellectually there are great intellectual ex- cerebral intellectual exchanges so that is why you connect with your partner they are so unconventional so intelligent they have intellectual depth so you like them so you got attracted to them so if your partner is ambitious they have certain desires they are researching something they are in their okay they are analyzing things they have certain goals you need to support them you need to support them <clears throat> because you have to understand that if 7000 nakshatra lord is well placed in the 11th house your partner can really be somebody who has great intellectual depth and they have great you know they are a dreamer they have great goals you need to support their goals very important you have great relationship goals with your partner you want to travel the world with your partner you want to undertake travels with your partner you want a great friendly relationship with your partner a relationship which is lively based on friendly interactions that sort of relationship you want with your partner you have a lot of desire 
to connect with your partner okay so your partner is your f- friend your partner is your okay mate your soul mate your everything so this is actually when the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 11th house it can show that it can be a very s- fulfilling and satisfying relationship also based on great even intimate connection based on great friendly relation uh, based on uh, you know both of you uh, will have a great desire to explore the world together and this relationship can work actually you need to support your partner's goals ambitions also then this relationship will work you need to uh, okay respect their thought process their ideas then this relationship will work for your partner their sense of individuality is also very important so you need to respect their sense of individuality give each other space when it is required and then again team up and explore the world and do fun things have great uh, intellectual exchanges friendly interactions great intimate connections so all that can happen when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 11th house okay so yeah this is part of the kama trikona the trine of desires the desire to do you know to explore the world d- the desire to uh you know do so many things with your partner you will have endless desires pertaining to your relationship when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 11th house never ending desires pertaining to the relationship so very important to give each other space also when it is required and also it is important to uh, respect your partner's goals ambition at the same time you also have certain goals ambitions pertaining even to your independent business maybe and you are chasing your own goals you have relationship goals as well you are chasing them as well so it is important to collaborate with each other when it is required and again it is important to give each other space when it is required so relationship should be based on healthy collaboration healthy understanding and friendship and even great intimate connection also when the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the 11th house after Uh, your marriage or after get entering into partnership or relationship you may become prosperous in life this can definitely happen your relationship may enable you to become prosperous if the 7th house nakshatra lord is more or less well placed it is a wonderful placement it's a wonderful position of the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 11th house okay now the final placement of the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the 12th house 12th house you have a lot of pisces energy water energy dual water your par- partner can have a sense of uh, sort of duality of character mostly they will be intuitive thoughtful they will want to escape into solitude at times they may want to escape from problems very imaginative also very thoughtful very pensive that is they will be very intuitive they can be creative also okay at times uh, they will be a uh, very calculating also so this sort of duality at times they can be very calculating very methodical in their approach to things but mostly they will be lost in their own world of imagination fantasy so it's very good if your partner is connected to some uh, creative field then it's very good If you met your partner in a foreign land it's very good after marriage or after entering into relationship if you settle down in a foreign land it's very good if you are in a relationship with a foreigner or with somebody from a foreign culture then it's very good if there is great spiritual connection between you and your partner it's very good if your independent business is connected to investments it's very good if your independent business is connected to healing occult spiritual practices psychology or psychological counseling then it's very good your partner can be intuitive as i told you creative you are also looking for a deep rooted emotional connection and your partner is also someone who's very emotionally sensitive so you are also looking for a 
deep rooted emotional connection they also want a deep rooted emotional connection with you so it's very important to respect each other's emotions to connect with each other intuitively if it, if there is misunderstanding also what will happen if the 7th house nakshatra lord is not so well placed in the 12th house and if you are not able to understand uh, or respond to each other's emotions then again there could be a distance also a distance may set in in the relationship and uh, somehow you may grow apart you may move apart also this can also happen if that spiritual connection that intuitive connection is missing so deep rooted emotional connection is required spiritual connection intuitively connecting with each other even physical intimacy because pisces is connected to the 12th house of bed pleasures 12th house is not just the house of spiritual connection but also the house of bed pleasures where venus exalts so being devoted to each other yes spiritually connected devoted committed to each other is important again it is also important to even have great intimacy physical intimacy sexual intimacy also when you have the 7th house nakshatra lord in the 12th house now initially now that spiritual the when the relationship between two people uh, you know it becomes only spiritual at a certain age later on in life generally speaking so then both of them eventually you know that desire for uh, sex diminishes and the relationship is tr truly it becomes remains only spiritual and there is great spiritual connect that happens after a certain age initially you are a newly wed couple or you are into a relationship with somebody serious relationship committed relationship with somebody so initially when you are at a certain age you are young and youthful so then definitely great physical intimacy is a requirement otherwise if there is dissatisfaction in physical intimacy or physical relationship then distance can set in somehow you can be distanced from your partner this can also happen so relationship should be based on intense emotional connection spiritual connection but physical intimacy is also something which has to be maintained in the relationship then only your relationship with your partner can be successful if the 7th house nakshatra lord is in the 12th house so yeah and uh, your partner can be into spiritual practices they can be uh, charitable generous forgiving by nature it's very good your independent business can also be connected to uh, okay uh, to healing to psychological counseling as i told you and uh, definitely uh, you could also be associated with certain organizations which are engaged in charity if you're engaged in such if you're really you know interacting with certain with those organizations which are into charitable services then it's very good it can eventually make you prosperous and it can you know help you receive divine blessings so it's always because 12th house is part of the moksha trine so uh, your independent business may be connected to occult healing helping others out sharing your knowledge being compassionate to others okay so it's important to be charitable to others to be at the giving end it's important to share your knowledge to even you know help others with monetarily with your resources you're helping others out okay that's important also whatever you have if you have knowledge you share knowledge if you are very rich you have resources you do do charity that will also that is also something which is going to eventually bless you when you are engaged in charitable services and that is how you are helping others out that will make you prosperous eventually also so that is again one thing and as far as your partner is concerned i told you a partner can be very intuitive very emotional okay so at times they may be a little confused so you need to be their support be their 
source of inspiration always okay at times they may want to remain in isolation give them their space also and eventually you will see that when you are also prepared to sacrifice your pleasure for the sake of your partner your partner also will do the same for you and your relationship initially it is important to maintain great physical connection great sexual intimacy also it's important to maintain and eventually as you grow together you will see that there will be a wonderful spiritual bond also which has developed between the two of you and then this relationship is really going to be successful so friends that's all i wanted to say about the 7000 nakshatra lord in all 12 houses of your horoscope if you want personal consultation details are there in the video description and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like and share also and friends before i wind up today's video a gentle reminder be charitable be kind be merciful compassionate empathetic to the downtrodden to people who are needy so you may donate food vegetarian food uh, to old age homes to orphanages be kind to those people and also be kind to all animals birds and creatures see you next time thank you